morning on. I'm Jayalakshmi, working as assistant professor in the SMIT Dental. Uh, today I'm going to uh, give a small note on software defined radio. This was the new technology which was uh, going on in today's radio, uh, radio engineering technology. So the main um, concept of uh, this software defined radio was uh, uh, the uh, digital signal processors. The processors play a very important role in design and implementation of many practical systems with the incorporation of software. So one among that uh, is a uh, software defined radio. Uh, here, simply we can say that the introduction of software into the radio system has brought a concept of software defined radio. So software defined radio is a radio communication system where components that have been traditionally implemented in hardware or instead implemented the means of software on a personal computer or embedded system. So in the early days, we have designed a software uh, radio, we are only using the hardware components, but in uh, today, uh, tech, today's uh, latest technology, the same uh, radio was uh, designed using the software. So alternatively, it is also defined as each radio connects to a geolocation database to obtain the information about the spectrum occupancy in its location and flexibly adjust its operating frequency and transmit of uh, power not to cause interference to other bandwidth services. So in a um, channel, so many wireless channels, so many uh, uh, interference uh, wireless services are there. And uh, this software defined radio, mainly it is adapted to avoid interference. Okay, this is because uh, there will be a software database in which uh, with the help of geolocation database, you will obtain the spectrum occupancy in that particular location. And accordingly, its operating frequency is going to be changed. This is the main concept behind software defined radio okay so and the next thing is the software defined radio uh, what are the advantages or benefits of this SDRS? first thing is it is completely flexible right so according to the location of the customer okay according to the location of the customer and uh, the peak operating frequency will be changed up okay so this is the, uh, the this this is nothing but the flexibility okay and next thing is uh, um, it, uh, it is going to completely eliminate the interference okay which is um, completely um, uh, um, avoided this uh, it will reject the interference okay from other directions so the signals coming from other directions that is a major advantage of this SDR. and next thing is the major uh, advantage is in the earlier days uh, for the hardware uh, uh, radios uh, they are going to adapt the uh, design only with limited frequency spectrum but uh, nowadays it is uh, completely flexible so uh, these are the advantages and uh, additionally also it is going to have a reduced obsolescence enhanced experimentation and uh, it brings analog and digital work together so these are the benefits of this SDR and uh, this SDR, what are the special features of this uh, radio is reprogrammable, completely it is reprogrammable. So based on the location, okay, and based on the frequency, this, uh, the chip can be reprogrammed. Okay, that is the main advantage. It is multiband technology, networkable, and um, completely it is going to depend, on, uh, depend upon the network uh, availability in the particular location. And uh, next thing is simultaneous voice data and video is available. And um, here we are going to have a full convergence of digital networks and radio signs. So this is the basic block diagram for software defined radio. Here, uh, both transmitter and the receiver are shown in the same diagram. So the forward RMR represents the transmission side and the reverse RMR represents the receiver side. So using the spart antenna, we are going to receive the data. And here, uh, initially, it is given to a flexible RF hardware. So this flexibility, this is because according to the location, okay, this RF frequency range may change. And uh, accordingly, the data, analog data will be converted to digital data using this ADC converter. And after that, the sampling rate conversion, which means that quantization is performed in order to uh, perform um, uh, uh, in order to uh, uh, accurately uh, in order to convert the data into an accurate digital form and that digital data is given to your digital signal processor and in the processor these are the components which are available okay hardware components which are available and what are the softwares which are available in the process that is listed here so this is the major uh, difference between the hardware uh, design which is available in the uh, previous uh, year, years and uh, this is um, and uh, the software design which is available here. So in the hardware uh, radio which is available in the early days, this uh, features is not available, it's not possible. So um, there is no rate programmable. 
But in nowadays, with the help of this DSP processor, completely we can say that in the hardware FPGA is there. So FPGA is nothing but field programmable gate array, it is completely reprogrammable. So based on the location, its operating frequency can be changed and accordingly the services can be provided to the customers. Okay, and in the reverse process uh, will be done in the receiver side. So this is the basic block diagram for software defined radio and that concept is used here. And uh, here also the modulation technique which is used uh, for the software defined radio is digital modulation techniques. Since we are going to deal the data only in terms of digital, we are going to we have to adapt this digital modulation techniques. So as my colleague, uh, Mr. Arun Kumar sir, he has given a basics uh, YouTube video, uh, video link on basics of digital communication and what are the different um, types of digital communication techniques are available. So that is uh, given in a YouTube video and the link for that video is given in the last slide. So better uh, for a better understanding of the basics of digital communication techniques, we can go for referring that particular uh, video. And uh, they, I have given a special, specifically I have uh, chosen this topic is uh, how that digital modulation techniques can be adapted in a practical day-to-day -day application. Okay, so I have taken a day-to-day -day application which is certainly by software defined radio, where in SDR completely the digital modulation techniques is used for modulating as well as demodulation. Mainly the PSK, okay, phase shift keying is mainly adapted in the transmitter side and the receiver side to perform the modulation as well as demodulation process. Okay, and then uh, uh, this thing I have discussed earlier itself. So completely here in the software defined radio, the interference is going to be completely eliminated here. And this is the basic block diagram for uh, the radio system where PSK modulation plays a very important role for modulating as well as demodulation of data. Okay, so the smart radios that configure themselves to perform communication tasks requesting uh, requested. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, simple definition we can say. Smart uh, smart defined radio is nothing but we can configure. Okay, we can configure by ourselves to perform a particular communication task. Okay, community radio. Another term. In other words, we uh, we have uh, heard about community radio also. Uh, that uh, um, uh, learn about their environment. Okay, to optimally configure themselves to maximize the efficiency and reduce the interference. So according to the location, the operating frequency can be changed. Okay, which is nothing but configurable and, um, and the record task is going to be performed. And the technical challenges in the SDR are these are the challenges algorithm. So we need to uh, work uh, clearly with this algorithm and uh, the algorithm should, uh, should be written in such a way that the, uh, uh, the transmission should be done efficiently. So we need to concentrate on this. This is one of the challenges and the ADs and DAC speed and uh, the frequency adaptability okay that is the dynamic radio so these are the challenges available uh, generally available in sdr and this the system for sdr will be look like this so the students practically can have a view on it to have a better understanding and where it finds application is it find it is the software defined radio mainly it is used for uh, military and cell phone services so this reference video link is here. So this, in this link, my colleague, uh, Mr. Arun Kumar sir has given a basic concepts on digital modulation techniques. And using that, uh, understanding that digital modulation techniques, uh, we can go for, uh, uh, have an uh, application like SDR. Thank you.